Hey, what is up guys? It's the Michigan Minecrafter back here with another video. Finally, after uh, a couple months there of not really uploading anything, um, which was because uh, I was starting to work again. Um, the last video, or actually not the last video that I uploaded, um, the vlog that I uploaded of doing the Montel uh, indoor uh, waterfall was um, during my spring break and that's when work really started to pick up because it was so nice outside that we kind of got a super early start to spring cleanings on ponds and stuff like that. So I was like work school, work school, work school and no time in between. So that's why I wasn't really uploading anything much but I did manage to get kind of a cool project done in the meantime which I completely forgot to film. I should have, uh, I realized afterwards I should have filmed the process of building it because it was actually really cool Cool, but I completely didn't even think about it because I was so busy with other things that I was procrastinating on at the time. But as you can see behind me, uh, I got a fish tank there. Um, and this is actually a fish tank that my family has had for a while. Um, it was at one point in Aiden and I's room and then we didn't have room for it anymore. So eventually it moved in here into my mom's room. Um, and for the longest time, we had our big giant pleco from out in the pond in here. Um, but he actually died a few months ago because I think he was too big for it was the problem. So we didn't really have any good place to uh, overwinter him. So unfortunately, he passed away. But that did create the opportunity to finally do something different with this tank. Because for the longest time, all we had in there was just kind of your typical fish tank gravel and uh, fake plants and things like that like you would typically have. Um, but the problem was we had goldfish in there because this is kind of where we start goldfish out and then we put them in the outdoor pond once they're big enough. Um, but goldfish are really, really dirty fish. They poop a ton. So the problem is if you have a fish tank with them and it, it gets dirty really fast, which was definitely the case with this, like when I cleaned the gravel out of there, it was like you couldn't even see through the water. Um, so I went through, I cleaned it out, and then I decided I wanted to do a complete like remodel on it because, um, uh, so the weird thing is context, context wise, um, it was super nice during the home show over spring break, around 70 degrees. Then, a few weeks ago, it snowed super hard and it was so cold for a few weeks there. And I was still having to do cleanings while that was going on. But I wasn't really getting to kind of exercise my creative energy with like building um, ponds and uh, like placing rocks and uh, organizing plants and doing that sort of thing, which is why I really love my job. Um, obviously, spring cleanings are just something that has to happen though, but in the meantime, um, this was kind of my outlet for that. So a few weeks ago, I decided to grab some rocks, um, get some actual aquatic plants, um, and get a bunch of gravel, and basically put what's called a wetland filter in here which means that um, the way that I made it, and I'll, I'll have some clips uh, going so that you guys can see this, but essentially what it is is I took some plastic, which in a pond obviously we'd use like full-on liner, but I just kind of used thin um, like painter's plastic that you would cover furniture in, and I made a bowl out of that, put gravel inside of there, and um, basically dedicated half of the tank to that. And then um, in front of that, to keep it contained, I put in two rocks that kind of form this little waterfall. Um, and what's eventually gonna happen is um, there's gonna be plants planted in that gravel. And since there's a pump uh, underneath the plastic that pulls water from the rest of the tank and pushes it up into that bag of gravel, um, what ends up happening is the water goes up through there and when plants are in there then their roots can absorb all the nutrients and fish poop and things like that and then clean water comes down that little waterfall side. Um, 
So yeah, that's kind of the idea of what's gonna happen. Obviously right now you can see um, there's no plants in that upper part because this right here is the uh, is the wetland filter right here that uh, bag of gravel um, Because there's no there's no plants in season right now, so I'll have to go get those eventually um, But yeah, that's the plan for that and then uh, when we were going to the pet store to get the aquatic plants that are in there right now over on the water side um, we splurged a little bit. Originally, we only had the two goldfish in there, and then this little tiny pleco, which uh, I did film a little clip of. Um, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see him terribly well, um, but he won't get as big as uh, Larry, our original pleco, so he'll be okay in this tank um, at the size that it is. Um, but we splurged a little bit because we also got a freshwater crab, which you guys will be able to see here. Um, so, uh, when we were going through the store, we were kind of um, uh, debating what plants to get, so in the meantime we were looking around, and we walked past this tank that had just a little bit of water in it and then a rock, and on top of that rock was this little crab that was just waving this big giant claw in the air that he had. Um, and then he is the one that we actually ended up getting. So he was kind of getting our attention with that. Uh, so we ended up getting him. Um, and initially we were worried that he was going to be able to escape. Uh, and luckily that has not come true so far. But the people in the pet store did say that several times they have found him wandering around outside of the tank, like on the other tanks or on the floor. Um, so yeah, luckily we haven't run into that problem yet. I don't think he's able to climb out of this tank in its current state. But yeah, so that is sort of what I have been up to these last few weeks. Um, just kind of did this little project in between prepping for exams and working pretty much every day. So yeah, uh, if you guys found this interesting or fun or cool, Definitely be sure to hit that like button, and if you have any questions about it, and it's kind of an abnormal project, um, definitely be sure to leave that down in the comments below, and I'll uh, answer any questions you might have about it. But yeah, uh, I will see all of you guys in the next video.